To create equipment inside the Plant 3D environment, we access the Equipment dialog box from the Equipment panel in the ribbon menu. From here we have access to the same predefined equipment such as pump, vessels, exchangers, and also the basic 3D AutoCAD shapes that we can use to build a representation of our equipment. So let's start by opening drawing 0402 Equip. And once again, I'm going to change our view into parallel. And I'm going to come up to our Equipment tab and I'm going to choose Create. I'm going to scroll down to where we have our pumps and I'm going to choose a centrifugal pump. Now let's take a look at the parametrics that we have available here. If you look at the graphic, you can see the dimensions that we have here correspond with what we have in the parametric dialog box here. And we can make adjustments accordingly. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create the tag on here. I'm just going to pick on the little window here and it's going to open up this assign tag dialog box. Now the tag has been predefined as a P for a pump. I'm just going to assign the number and I'm going to call this 402B. And I'm going to say assign. And this number is going to be exclusive to just this one particular pump that we're going to create here. I'm going to make a few modifications here. So I'm just going to look for our SL. The length here, we're going to change that to six feet. And we're going to change our SB to two feet. And once we're ready, we're going to insert that. So I'm going to create. And it's going to ask me where do I want to have that. So I'm going to choose the insert point for this. I'm going to choose 25 feet by 3 feet. And it's placed it in the right position underneath our equipment. And you can see that we have this little compass that shows us basically proximate routings. We have little compass points that keep us on snap for 90. We can change them to 45. In this case, I'm going to use it at 90. Just pick a point somewhere out in space here. And we've placed that pump. So if we hover over this pump, you can see the basic information. Looking at nozzle one, you can see the information there that it's a six inch, 300 pound flange connection. And the equipment tag was what we assigned. It's P402B. So now I'm going to just use regular AutoCAD to copy this. And I, I want to show you what happens with the tagging. So I'm going to just copy. I'm going to give a base point 000. And I'm going to move that over six feet. Now I want you to take a look and see here if we hover over this, we have 402B with a question mark. And what happens is we can't actually have two pumps, obviously, with the same tag that doesn't work in a process environment or in a CAD environment. So what it's basically saying is this question mark's just reminding us that we need to create a new tag number for this. It's impossible that they're the same. So I want to take a right click for this one. A uh, number of ways we can do this. We can come down to say assign the tag. And you'll see here that we have the dialog box open again for this one. So we can change this to A. And now if we hover over, we'll see that we have the 402A and we have 402B. So just take a quick look at some more here. I'm just going to hit create again. And I'm going to look for a reboiler. So under our heat exchanger here, I'm going to bring the reboiler in and just want you to take a look at what makes this reboiler. We're basically taking a couple of standard shapes. We're taking some cylinders at various diameters here and a cone, a cylinder, torus ferric head. And it's just kind of adding them together into a representation, a spatial representation of what that exchanger would look like. And to create that, you can see it's taken all those standard shapes and put them together and just added some nozzles to it. And the nozzle placement we'll look at in a little bit further into the module here. So, and again, if you want to edit that, we can right click and we can come down to modify equipment. And it, that's going to bring us back into our dialog box. And for example, if we want to get rid of the head on the back here, we can just click on that and say remove. And I'm going to say OK. And you'll see that it's removed that dish head off the back. So it's going to delete this. We're not going to use this in our model just now. It's going to highlight that and delete. So you can see by using simple parametric shapes, we have the ability to create basic equipment very quickly and very easily. Remember that we're not going for a realistic look here. We want to simply show the volume of the equipment and give an approximate shape to make it easy to identify.